August 15. Parades, pageants and march pass led by Indian armed and paramilitary forces mark the celebrations of Indian independence. The event kicks off with the Prime Minister receiving a gentle salute from the Guard of Honour, which has representatives from the Indian Army, Navy, Air Force and Delhi Police. Last year, around 10,000 people attended the grand celebrations that took place at the Red Fort. But this year, the 74th Independence Day celebrations are expected to be a low-profile affair like any other event due to the COVID pandemic. Fewer VIPs are expected to attend the Red Fort celebrations, which the school children will skip altogether. It has been an every year ritual for students to attend the celebrations, and last year the Prime Minister walked towards the youngest section of the gathering dressed in saffron, white, and green and got mobbed by the kids. Only 150 to 200 of them will be seated in the VIP section compared to almost 1000 previously. In view of the celebrations, security has been tightened and vehicles are being checked in the national capital. News reports suggest that corona warriors or people who have recovered from the disease will be the highlight of the celebrations. The event will also be marked by musical performances by the bands from Army, Navy and Indian Air Force. The armed forces performed a live music band concert at Red Fort on August 9. And the final performance of the series will take place on August 13 in places like Lucknow, Faizabad, Shillong and Madurai. The performances are intended to be gestures of gratitude and appreciation for those who have been relentlessly fighting against the spread of COVID-19. As part of the enhanced security measures being put in place, all the officers of the Army, Navy, Air Force and Delhi Police participating in the Independence Day ceremony have been told to severely restrict their activities. After rehearsals, they've been asked to return home and not go anywhere else. Their domestic help, cooks and drivers have also been told to remain in quarantine. All 350 Delhi police personnel taking part in the celebrations have been housed at the new police colony in the Delhi cantonment and their health conditions are being regularly monitored. All this points to the spirit of the nation that believes in celebrating its independence even as it combats the menace of COVID-19.